Shreveport, Louisiana. Back to Monday morning on the time. It's the start of the work week. It's the Sahara stash. Squirt's noticed. She stares at it a lot. The guys are gearing up for a fun weekend getaway. Saying it's early in the morning. We're gonna get the week started. But first, they have a little business to take care of. Hey, is Jeff available? Jeff, hey man, it's Dustin over at S3. With three months before the next desert race, the team finally has some downtime. It is great because we get to take our time getting the car ready and go for every single nut and bolt. And two, it's a nice breather to do other things and extracurricular activities. So they've decided to schedule a trip to Little Sahara Sand Dunes in Oklahoma. Yes, sir. Hey, do you and Logan have just a minute? Yep. Can y'all bring a pen and pad, please? Yep. Thanks. But before departure, they have a little job to handle. Shut that door, please. We are building two identical race cars for Ken Block. The Ken Block? Like Jim Connor Ken Block. Like again, Ken Block? Do you guys, either one of y'all know who I'm talking about? Including handbrakes on both of them. I knew that's what you were gonna say. How so? Have you seen this? <laughs> Wisdom. <laughs> I don't know why y'all are still standing here because we're fixing to leave for Little Sahara and we gotta have to build two race cars. For the upcoming trip, someone had a great idea. Get your stupid facial hair out of my office. <laughs> He's talking to you, not me. And Dustin Henderson is the first one to bite the bullet. All right, so apparently there's some sort of game going around of the Dune mustache. DH has already started on his, kind of initiated this whole deal. Yep, SS stands for Sahara Stash. Right now he looks like a gentleman, I'll give it to him. While I'm not 100% in on this whole deal, he looks good right now. With a quick turnaround time for the matching Chem Block X3s, the guys in the shop tear down the factory suspension to make room for the custom billet S3 rear radius rods and the heavy duty S3 front suspension. Boom. What's up, bro? What are you doing to get your face ready? Mustache? Flavor saver. And Dustin Henderson is looking for new recruits. Yep, all this, you need to go and get rid of all this. Man, you know how long it took me to get this? Only keep this old dirt squirrel. Shockingly enough, Manny is a little bit skeptical. What they don't understand, it takes me like five months to even grow a partial mustache. So they should have told me this last year. Don't make me look nothing besides fresh. Your name is Manny Fresh. I'm just saying. Gotta make sure you do it right. With Manny on board, the mustache plan starts to come together. But more importantly, the shipping department just received an important package. Got something for you, buddy. What's that? Looks like something for Ken Block. Ooh, toys. You know what this is? It says handbrake. That's exactly what it is. This means somebody's life is about to get changed. One and only, never been done, handbrake for an X3. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna call this Excalibur. Oh, look how good that works. This is fixing to make somebody real happy. And if I know anything about Ken Block, he likes to be happy. Bam, so smooth billet handle. This bad boy gonna be sweet. The Ken Block X3 build is moving along on schedule. So now the guys need to start getting ready for their dune trip. Anthony's just wheeling on top of my gas tank. Whatever. At least there's a fire extinguisher over there. In order for the guys to get to work on their personal UTVs, they have to wait until after hours. That's sketchy. I can't believe things are still holding there persuade fabricator Anthony Bryant to stay late. Was that just a fluke that night you did that little, little spin around move? I think so. Yep. And naturally, Dustin wants to stir the pot. It sounded like it was struggling. I don't think there's no skill involved in that. It sounded like that's all it had. He tried again. Of course, burnout part two is inevitable. Anthony got lucky one time. I already know he ain't gonna be that lucky this time. He's gonna blow a wheel off the rim, tear up his wheel on the curb. But like they say, well, you get the picture. Oh, he does them donuts like a pro. Throws the donut down and just cuts out like nothing ever happened. Once again, Anthony doesn't disappoint. The guys work into the night on the UTVs. Uh, I'll be there five minutes. I bring by, I want to see it. Uh, but... well, shop manager Daniel Grice shows up. D, Manny, come look at this. And he has quite the story to tell. Somebody came to my house and stole my truck right out the driveway. Four bullet holes. Hey. One, two, three. One up there on the, <laughs> the roof. 
after the truck was stolen. Apparently, it was used for a getaway car before being abandoned. It's got some party grass in it. Oh, yeah, it's got a funky smell. That don't smell legal. Why do you got a spare on it? I, I had another this? bullet hole, man. They freaking shot your tire, too? That's a bullet hole through a tire. Yes, it is. Is there a hole on the backside of the tire? Uh, if not, that bullet's yeah. inside that tire. There's a oh, bullet in that yeah, tire. Bullet in that tire. Yeah. There's a bullet in this tire. The Crack S3 detective team possibly dislocated some evidence. Listen. And Dustin has a supporting theory. I'm gonna be honest, the other way that I know that it was a drug deal and a drive-by is this tire has been ran on. They was trying to get away. So there's only one thing to do, and that's retrieve the bullet. Got the tire broke down, the search begins. Oh, pieces of it. It said pieces. Dude. How you feel about that, Boone? It's crazy, man. Yeah, I think I might use this as a uh, paperweight on my desk. Only two options to do this. A, make a necklace out of it. B, gold tooth. Mm -hmm. Based on the trajectory of the bullets, it was part of a literal drive-by, because they progressively get from the side of the door to the back of the cab, knowing that it was flying down the road. And the last one, straight through the tire. Somebody was a decent shot. As the guys hustle to get their side-by-sides ready for the trip, the matching Kemp Block X3s are ready for pickup. And without a doubt, the guys in the shop didn't disappoint. Man, are you done with these things or what? Look at that sweet handbrake right there. And they both got the full S3 Power Sports experience. A-arms, tie rods, nerf bars, radius rods, cage, bumpers, everything's good? Yeah, everything's just buttoned up, dude. We got both of them done. Which means there's only one thing left to do. I think I need to go test it out. What do Let's you think? see what that thing actually does. Yeah. Oh my God, this thing's sweet. Yeah! Woo! Bro, this thing is that sweet. Thing oh my God. Bro, I'm gonna go get DJ so he can try this out, but one more time, and then I'll go get him. Probably the easiest it's gonna be driven for a while. We should finish up in Kimball bikes. Bro, what are you sweating for? You been watching cops or something? I may have or may not have been trashing on a bike. Oh my God, is this what you did in my car when you built it? Yes, absolutely. This is super sweet, you need to come try it. <laughs> Let's give them a try. Come on. No doubt, putting a handbrake on an X3 is a first for S3 Power Sports. Dang, cars look good, man. Two identical cars, how sweet is that? Quite possibly the first ever. Look good, Anthony. So, naturally, everyone wants to give it a try. Bro, this thing's out of control. This thing's so freaking sweet. And Dustin is just getting warmed up. Hey, let's go right outside the fence. It's broke in now. Don't have to worry about them not working. Uh-huh. How sweet was that? Stop right beside it. Now that the Kim Block X3s are done, it's time to ship them across the country. We barely got them in time. I'm sure Kim will take care of them. Now we run in here and start getting our cars prepped to go have some fun in the dunes. And for Logan, focus on more important things. Oh my god. Look at that lip curtain. It's beautifully sculpted. Like facial self-expression. Get it like that? I could do you like that. Henderson's got the Fu Manchu. I'm just gonna let my clippers take over, you know. It appears Logan has succumbed to the pressure. I feel like I'm losing a part of me, but I'm gonna gain, you know, gain uh, knowledge, naturally. The real question is, will he go through with it? Well, I already know, man, based on how little we had done last night and the fact that we're leaving at six in the morning, we're gonna be working late tonight. The guys have been planning the trip to Little Sahara for the past six months. <laughs> Why do you keep laughing like that? Bro, D pulls that off, bro. You look 40. I like what you're doing. And Dustin Jones has a couple of tricks up his sleeve. <laughs> Is he a sweet I'm going to say it, to be honest with you. Like sporting a new vintage helmet and goggles for the trip. Yeah. Sweet or not sweet? Yes. Manny, come here. Are you mad about this? Not at all. You seem a little mad. You know what y'all should do? What? Come into the office. Oh, okay. And of course, he outfits the whole squad. <laughs> Damn. Look at the lineup. I'm going classic white. Yeah. 
Now, look, this was premeditated. This wasn't by accident. Matching vintage open face helmets that are perfect for mustaches. Do this. I feel like this is a bad decision. And reluctantly, Logan is the first to go for it. You've been working on that for so long and it's gone. It's messed up now. I'm, in, I'm kind of impressed. You look like a truck driver, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, yes, sir. Now I'm starting to look like a stash. Three months of tenacious beer growth down the drain. I like it. Let's go start on uh, Manny's. Let's see what we do with his. I look like I just dropped like 20 years in age. Without a doubt, you guys are ready for the sand dunes. Are you going to cut yours? Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm debating actually because mine looks really good. But the real question is are the sand dunes ready for them? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Pulling the hair out of my face when we do that. That beautiful beard is getting cut now, cuz. You ain't got a choice. On part two of the Visions of Victory mid-season finale. Hey, there's tornadoes everywhere. All the news crews are pulling out. Get in the truck. Let's go. That's definitely coming down. Got a small rotation at 2 o'clock. Oh, my God. <laughs> That was fun. I'd love to keep doing it, but I want to I wanna finish it out today. <laughs> I signed up. Send it! Ow! Woo! Felt pretty good until it just hooked my ear. Oh, oh my bad, bro. <laughs> Deep. I oh. oh, always got to mess it up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. That's not a middle of the mall haircut right there. You can't get that at the mall. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's straight Kentucky Fried Chicken four piece right there. That's perfect. I'm happy with it. Yeah, because I actually tried I'm very happy. Dude, it looks nice to me, dude. Quinn, hit the chair. <laughs> Bro, it didn't take much for yours. It really isn't, because yours is so good and thick. It's clearly coming together. He is a oh, true, man. true gentleman. Y'all get beside each other and let me take a shot of this. Everybody's dune stashes are prepped. We gotta clean the salon up. Go home, get some rest, and be up here in the morning. <laughs>